Welcome to Wisdom of the World. Today I'm going to tell a story from Africa and the topic is maintaining friendships and it's called The Lion and the Jackal and it goes like this. Once upon a time there was a lion. The lion was thirsty and he was drinking from the stream in the jungle. But somehow he got his foot stuck at the edge of the stream and he just couldn't, he just couldn't, no matter how hard he tried, he just couldn't get it out. So he had to wait and wait and he had to wait for several days until finally a kind jackal came by. And the jackal dug and dug and dug, sand away and using also the last bit of strength that the lion had, he managed to set the lion free. And the lion thanked him so much for saving his life. And he said to the jackal, please come and live next to me. So whenever I, I, I catch something, I can share it with you. So they did. So the jackal and the lion lived close together and basically shared their livelihoods. And they did well. The lion got married, the jackal got married, there were baby cubs, there were baby jackals. And all was well for a while. But at a certain moment, the lioness, the lady of the lion's nest got a bit tired from that friendship with the jackals. You see, she didn't really know that it was the jackal who saved her husband's life. So, and she told about how she was no longer happy with it to her cubs, who told again to the little baby jackals, and the jackal kids told it to their mom. Mama Jackal. And Mama Jackal again told it to the Jackal himself. And so the Jackal approached the lion and told him the story. And he said, if you don't want us to live together, you should have said so a long time ago. And the lion said, no, we are friends. We are best friends. You saved my life. This will never change. Yeah. So, uh, nothing of that. Let's just go on as we did before. And then the jackal, who was not only kind, but also wise, said to the lion, he says, I know you are sincere, but our families may not feel the same friendship that you and I do. So, in order for us to stay friends, I think it's better if we move apart and I just come and visit you sometimes and maybe we even go hunting together. And the lion agreed to this. So the families parted as friends and each, you know, continued their own lives away from each other. And the jackal and the lion kept seeing each other very regularly over a good hunt. Now the moral of this story, really, the takeaway from this story is that maintaining friendships is not always easy. And families may just not feel the same level of friendship that you do. So then you have to be honest and creative. Thank you.